sorry it's been so long since I've uh, put up a YouTube video or anything. Had tons of stuff going on. Shops been busy uh, with ice fishing jigs going out. So I haven't had no time to even get out on the ice to actually fish yet. So, uh, but with that said, we're going to be uh, tying uh, what I call, and it has a has terminology behind it. The originator of it was Vicki Jackson and George Jackson, and it was called the Mean Bitch. Now the story behind that is, the name is that Vicki was very, never cussed or swear or anything like that, very prim and proper in language that way. But her husband can make a sailor blush. And he can give you a look that make you just want to run scared. But they were just great people. Uh, they made wonderful tackle back in the day. Since then, they both passed. Uh, but they also passed on the love of making tackle. And I've had the Mean Bitch 2 out. And now I'm going to be building. This is the Mean Bitch 3. Uh... You're just going to play with it. I'm doing it on a 32nd ounce with an Eagle Claw laser sharp hook. Uh, these are great for crappie, panfish, trout, you name it. So if you guys want to tie these, feel free to. Because if I put them out, they're only going to be in limited edition. They take a while to tie. So they're not uh, feasible for me to be making them by myself. So with that said, we're going to move on to tying this fly the mean bitch three and I and I'd like you to go down and uh, subscribe to our channel check us out we're gonna put out tackle making videos uh, fishing videos and the sorts so hit that like hit that like button also and don't forget to comment I'd like to hear your comments uh, if you see something while we're doing it that could be changed and make it make it cooler or better for catching fish hey that's what tackle making is about, is improving on an old idea, the original idea, which was a piece of wood that pivoted in a fish's mouth. So, look where we're at now, guys. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. So, with that said, we're going to go on to this video and tie this fly. This is what we're using today. Uh, get this in the frame here. Uh, a 1 32nd ounce uh, jig head poured with a neck. You want the neck. That gives you your body. So, and a little bit of paint on the hook don't hurt nothing. So, I've already got one in, in the vise here, but here's the other thing we're using. Uh, I'm using U2C 140. This is the chartreuse color. Uh, I'm using my bass, bass skirts. For making baskets, you can get these in the fly shops also. So different colors and stuff. And here's the main thing for this whole thing: Stretch Magic seven millimeter. You can get that at most of your hobby sh stores. It's in the necklace making area. Pretty cool stuff. Lots of fun to work with. The first few were kind of were kind of tough to get used to and tying in and everything, but hey, they're going smooth now. So. But this is pretty cool stuff. Get a pretty good stretch on it. So for pulling things tight and everything. So here we go. So I take my thread and wrap the body all the way down. And when you get to the back there, you're gonna have a it's gonna want to slide off. So and then you go back here, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. And what you're doing is building up that where that bump was and you're going to make that one continuous piece right there there we go we got her and tie that in snip that off oh the other good thing we have zap a gap best fly tie in head cement you'll ever get waterproof the whole nine yards so we're going to take i'll make, might as well show you a, a skein of this a little skein that's a skein of the stuff we're using for the tail so I come in here and I me measure out my tail right where the the bend where it dropped off of the hook, jig hook and where I built up so that's where my tail goes in and then I come back on my vise I use a griffin 
uh, Odyssey vise, Odyssey Spider. It's the cam. It's an original. It was a prototype from Bernie Griffin. So, and they're made right here in my hometown of Kalispell, Montana. So, with that, I bring my thread forward real quick. And then I tie in this stretch magic. And once you get it down in the front, you want to pull down on it and lay it right across that back of the hook. And you don't have to get her perfect going down. But then you come back up, and this is going to give you your color of your of your fly or your jig right there. Next part is we put a little dab. Oh, there's some zap and gap right there on my deal, so we don't need a whole lot. This tightens down the threads and everything and locks everything in and then it'll lock your zap gap. I use a this is a rotary vise. So here's the toughest part is getting this first section on. Then after that it's just smooth and slick. Until you get to where that hook that plastics keeper was, and sometimes you get a bump over, slow her down a little bit, come in, as you can see that zap a gap is going forward on my jig so I wipe that off a little bit but that's good to have so come in and tie her in and I go in front and in back and then once I get her out I snip her off pull it a little bit and snip it off then I come in with my thumbnail and that's my base for my fly tying head what happens when you tie this with that is if you don't put your thumbnail there it wants to follow it back like a threaded screw so and then we go in and we just do a quick whip finish I got some super glue on my, my snippers cut her off pull her out now we go in and tie in the shreds with some zappa gap here. You don't want to put a whole lot, just a dab will do. And then you just kind of work it around the whole th the whole thing. All right, that one's done. So that's your finished product right there. So folks, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And also, leave your comments down below. So, looking forward to seeing you. Looking forward to seeing your comments. Hey, and if you want good tackle that's been catching lots of fish, it took a bunch of places. My, my tackle just took a bunch of places in a tournament. The top ten places. Almost all of them. This past weekend, the purchase salt on Smith Lake. So, if you want to have some good tackle to help you put fish in the boat. Go to Pete's Tackle Shop.com. Alright, thank you folks. You have a wonderful day.